How's it going? Charles Bochston here. What you're about to see is going to be a uh, raw video of when Nick Drosis, who's one of the top self-defense teachers in the world, uh, he's got over 250,000 YouTube subscribers, over 40 million views on his videos, and his new business partner, George. And we just decided that we were having such a good conversation that we wanted to record it. So this is essentially it. Um, there's no editing. You know, there's, there's bits and pieces of Nick, who literally went through a lot in life, like, has been shot. He's been stabbed. He's been, he had a, a bad upbringing. He lived in the ghetto and this guy's risen out of it. You know, he, a couple of years ago was like living on a, living in his uh, gym with his kid on the floor. Like he has an amazing life story. And to hear him, you know, the biggest thing I, I would say about this takeaway is it's who you spend time with. The people and the knowledge is all you're going to really Feel good about yourself. You know, I, I just made a video about um, external things, the knowledge, the wisdom, the uh, meaning, the knowing of going through life is really what's going to steer you, make you happy, just a continuous drive to better yourself. And honestly, the biggest thing is who you surround yourself with. Nick Drosis, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to upload um, this right to the video and uh, enjoy it. Let me know if you have any comments. And it's going to cut off at the end because that's what my camera does after 30 minutes of video. So watch it at two times the speed and you'll get through it in 15 minutes. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Filming more. What you want to say now? That's pretty good. Well, we're filming right now. Oh, yeah, we're oh, filming now. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like how much more clear and crystal and through do you want to see something? How much bigger and more and I and I've been there. It's, yeah. like, it's like a pit that just doesn't end. And you're just, you're going, you're going, and you're running, and you're getting there, and you're running to the next goal, and the next one. And you're exhausting yourself because you're not enjoying the fucking journey. You're yeah. not enjoying. Like, yeah. people tell me, oh, you know, they're running after this dream because they're running after money. Yeah. They're running after, like... It could be money. anything, girls. Yeah, even yeah. girls, yeah. And uh, health or getting bigger or yeah. whatever. It, yeah. what, is it, what is it that Tony Robbins would say? Is it... it what you're actually chasing for is not the actual object. The you're chasing after the feeling. Yeah, that the you're emotion you get, you're get yeah. from it. Yeah, that's what never works. Yeah, because the moment you get there, you instantly start looking for the next thing, yeah. and the next. Thing. I didn't. I didn't understand that too when yeah. I first heard it. I was like, no, it's about the money. It's about the hundred thousand. Then you get a hundred thousand, you're like, ah, oh, it's about two hundred thousand, yeah. or it's about a seven. No, no, no. Maybe it's about an eight. Or not, there's, right? no, there's yeah. no end to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it becomes yeah. it becomes obsessive and becomes madness. Yeah. Because you're always obsessing. For me, I can only talk to my students for the wrong the wrong goal. And for me it's I always tell people what drives you. And if they tell me, Oh well, it's the big house, it's the car, it's the girl, it's the chick, is it like yeah. for yeah. me and I've been there, believe it or not, like when I was like what, twenty two? I invested in the stock market. I made two hundred and fifty grand at twenty two years old. Wow. I lost it all. <laughs> Woke up one day. I lost yeah. everything. Because you probably, you've never, you never no, had that amount never before. Had. So you're like, I don't know poor, what to do man. I yeah, live yeah. in the poorest neighborhoods in Park X. <laughs> so I can, it's, if I bring you there, you, I brought my son. He's like, Daddy. And I'm bringing him in the building. He's like, I want to go. I'm like, what? Because I'm scared. He looks at me like, Daddy, you were poor, huh? I said, yeah, no, we were poor. Yeah. I would love to tell we were happy, but we weren't happy. Yeah. Not because yeah. we were poor, because of the fuck the parents I had. You know what yeah. I mean? So it doesn't make it even, you know, it doesn't make it better. But, and that's the thing, when I had made money and I lost it all, Man, I've, you know, I went crazy. I bought a fur coat, Gucci glasses. I was fucking, <laughs> Good fellas. Yeah, pimping it out, walking in the restaurant, man. man. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. lose everything. And you're thinking, holy shit, man. And then you realize it fucking, and I wasn't happy. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. more happy because it was never enough. Yeah. Never enough. I'm like, 250, I need a million. Yeah. I need more and more. And it's just, and it becomes a sickness. Yeah. And then you just lose it all. There's like the Mike Tysons or the Kurt Schilling, all these people that have just gone bankrupt. And you look at Mike Tyson, he looks a lot happier today yeah. than what he was back then. With yeah, him. yeah, he's more authentic more, or natural. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Hmm. That's what we're talking with George about being authentic and natural. Yeah. So many people are fucking fake. You see it. It's crazy. Like I met you, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm gonna like. You, you know. can see the screen, it's bright. Look how bright it that's is. Very cool. And then the yeah. audio, you got. There you go. So you know what, I have to say, Charles, like, you know, I met you yesterday. I had no clue who you were, what you did, if you were successful, if you were not, if you were just, all I knew is you took the train, you saw somebody get knocked out. So, yeah. And, you know, today we're just, and it, it doesn't matter to me, I'm not impressed by yeah. who you are, what you do. It's so unimportant. It's not impressive. You are impressed by who he is, I'm, not by what he Yeah, does. I'm impressed yeah, by yeah. your story, who you are, what yeah. you've done. It's like, wow, how the fuck did you do it? And what made you have the balls to leave? safety and security which we all yeah crave we all crave we yeah. want to take the safe road okay let me just take the road that you know the safe way the one that's least going to give me headaches or yep. risks yeah but man if you want to go somewhere in life you got to say fuck it i'm yeah. willing to lose 
everything. Yeah. But at least you tried. At least you gave it. I am back, so you know? anti that thinking too. I am so because you go through school, everyone's educated the same way. They they have it's just the mass thinking that do your nine to five, go to school, graduate. Look for a wife at 25, get married by 30, have 3.2 kids by 31, and it's like, I And then you divorced like me, pissed <laughs> off? Say, what the fuck? I was listening yeah. to my parents yeah. tell me, you have yeah. to be married now, yeah. you can find By your reason. parents, by society, by the government, fuck. by your friends. And then when you start deviating, they're like, no, 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 get back on the trail. Get back on the trail like everyone else. And it's like, yeah, we're all just robotically moving through life. We are so used to being conditioned by everything that's around yeah. that most guys, most people have never even taken the time to ever think, what do I really want? What do I really Not value? what my parents want me to do. Not what I yeah. think I should be valuing. Yeah. Yeah. What society thinks I should be valuing. That's what kills us. Because you live a life according to everybody else's values, except your own. Yeah. And then you're stuck because you realize... And unhappy. Yeah. I'm miserable. And you know what's yeah. like it? It's yeah. all the time you've wasted getting there. So you're 40. Yeah. 35, you've done everything. You're like, Snaps holy out. shit. Yeah. You can't, you know. Yeah. I, I'm, I, in a, yeah I'm, I'm in a marriage with a mortgage, and my kids are in school, and then you're like, I can't leave. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. The hardest thing I had to do yeah. in my life. That must have been crazy. Time. Pull the wow. fucking plug and say, you know what? This is not me. Yeah. I am not happy. I cannot continue yeah. this relationship. It, I, I'm killing myself slowly and the decision to pull the plug and say boom yeah finished. Yeah. whether it's in business because I meet people who have businesses and one one of my clients had a business that was going bad and he was investing and he was investing and he was investing and I'm like at, at what point do you say eject, eject. I'm out. at yeah. what point do you tell in your relationship I love you but I'm not the same person I grew you didn't yeah I I'm I matured and you stay the same way yeah. our values are not the same when do you say pull the plug and everybody hates you you get divorced everybody was like what's wrong with you you're crazy I'm I don't want to look back I'd rather look back 10 years than look back 40 years and say what the fuck did I do in my life yeah regret and stay there because people tell me you have a kid you should stay yeah my kid's gonna be happier when his father's happy Dude, that's the yeah. magic word when he's around should. when he's around yeah. he's like, present that's yeah, it yeah. I'm more happier more quality time with my son now yeah. and everybody tells me I have a few friends who are miserable in the marriage yeah they're like oh, I'm just gonna stick around for the kid are you fucking crazy yeah you just here take a gun and blow your brains out because you're dead yeah and you're, the paradox is you're not serving your kid anyway because your kids are not stupid. You're the role model for them. Yeah. Like yeah. you're a sponge. Kids will be the expression of what you show. They yeah. don't care about what you say. Yeah. They spot all the bullshit right away. So even if you stay, your kid's not, again, you're not serving your kid. So you're kind of screwed when, either way. Yeah, when you made that decision, was it, was it like a... You know, it was a six. You month mentioned it was it was a six months isn't that long though. No, but right? no, it, it the was pro the uh, process the takes idea, a long time. The idea, the yeah. idea could take. The idea came in, you know. Was there a moment? Yeah, there was. The, when my son was born, I realized that shit. What did I do? Yeah, like, yeah. I knew she couldn't handle it, and I, I was swamped, overworked. All the financial, everything was on my shoulders. Yeah. And I stuck around because hey, that's what society tells us to do. Stick around, fight, yeah. fight for your match, for yeah. your mic, for your kid. Shut your mouth. Shit. Yeah, like yeah. just do it, you know. Yeah. And the idea came slowly, and then it became bigger and bigger. And then when I confronted her, like we got to do something because I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna yeah. pack my stuff. She thought I was never going to do it and vice versa. But, you know, when you plant that seed, it just grows and grows. And then you realize, hey, we're not the same people anymore. Yeah. And, you know, you need growth. You need to grow together. More or less at the yeah. same speed. It doesn't have to be always like this. You're here. Yeah. Then you catch up. Then I move up. But at some point, I had to, like he says, press the eject, pull the plug. Boom. It's yeah. done. And it was hard, man. It was the hardest thing because everybody's telling me. So my dad called me. He goes, yeah. how dare you? You're going to go back and fix your marriage. And everybody yeah. thought I was crazy. Yeah. Nobody spoke to me except for a couple of friends and I'm fucking living in a, this my bathroom was here and my kitchen was there on the floor in a sleeping bag I was holding a bottle of vodka drinking wow. thinking how the fuck am I gonna get out of this with knowing sorry the worst part is I knew the moment, moment I was gonna divorce she would take everything, everything. Wow. every little fucking I mean you get yeah. to your home and your lights are missing your blinds are missing the sheets are missing <laughs> the fucking toilet paper is gone you're like what the fuck was I that bad yeah. I'm not saying I'm perfect I have my flaws but yeah. it's the hardest decision to do for in anything, yeah. when have you put too much? And like, even in business, you opened your business, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying. At what point did you say, "Fuck, I exhausted everything I could." Yeah. That is for me the hardest. It's like playing. It's like gambling. You're, yeah. right? you're in the you're in the poker as you're playing. You're playing. At what point do you say, "I'm gonna take my chips and get out"? Yeah. Or cut your losses. Or cut your losses. Cut your losses. Wow. Wow. That's that's yeah. Losses. And then the challenge becomes catching yourself when you start resenting, feeling guilty, feeling shame for what you did. Yeah. Because if you're like, ah. Oh, I wasted my time. I should have never done that. 
then you're actually losing all the wisdom of the experience that Absolutely. you get. Because you're constantly resisting what was, instead of saying, you know what, I lived what I lived, this is what I learned. Yeah. Because there's value in all these lessons. It's not for nothing, we, you know, we get to 40 years old and you know, hopefully we're a little bit wiser than when we were 30, than when we were 25, when we yeah. were 20. Because there is that life experience that comes. But if you can't take the time to look at the gifts that you got from that, then you're just going to repeat the same pattern again and yeah. again and again. And it usually gets worse and worse and worse until one day you say, hey, you know what, okay. I'm responsible, what the fuck? What did I have yeah. to do with this? You know, and uh, listen, I'm, I'm 30 and everyone's saying all my friends are married. You know, they're all married. I know they're wait, all wait, I'm going to ask you a question. How did they get married? I, for me personally, and maybe I'm wrong, people are watching this. A male to me, oh, George, George got married young, right? How old were you? How old was I? I'm 38. I've been married for 10 years. I got married at 28. 28. When did you, you met her at 26? I met her at... Two years before you got married? Uh, met, no, Your wife's going to kill you that you don't know No, summer, <laughs> summer 2001, after I graduated from university. So that's a long time. Months. Wow. Well, I, I took my time. Like, I, you know, I had, Five I years, had my yeah, Tony Robbins 13-page description of my wife, yeah. like, you know, each one of the, the life areas. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we met... One of our first dates, I had like my hundred questions. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> her friends were all offended. How dare he ask you all these personal questions? Oh my God! I wanted to know. Because yeah. Then, but she answered. You know what? He has these questions. If you, you know, I'll tell him exactly how it is. Yeah. He's not happy with my answers. He can go to hell. Yeah. Exactly. And my friends were like, "Don't you think you went a little hard on her?" I'm like, "If these questions don't interest her, I already yeah. know she's not for me." Exactly. So, so, if that's hard. That's awesome. Yeah. I got married at 28, but. You know, there was a lot of work into that. Like, my highest value is my relationship. Yeah. And it's been that since I'm 17. And, you know, we joke about this often, you know, when all my friends were busy getting drunk, you know, getting stoned. I was chasing <laughs> I was reading books on relationships. Hopefully the fifth. <laughs> I was studying relationships because you knew. that's what I wanted. Yeah. What was driving me, and that's a lot of, long, a lot of stories about that, is, was always, am I being the man? that will attract that woman that's in that description. Mm -hmm. Am I being that guy? Well, that's the best question to ask. Like, if you want to attract, yeah. like... I want to have this and this and this. You have to become yeah. The, yeah. Like, yeah. The, the feminine polarity of what you want to attract. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're lazy, but you want an ambitious woman, chances of ambitious woman, what the fuck, yeah. this guy's lazy. You want a healthy woman, and you're you're sick, you're fat, you're over you're this. You know, these are simple things. Yeah. It's like, who am I going to attract? Like, if she walks by and she sees me, she's going to go, uh-huh. I want them, okay. yeah, yeah. There, the, it was funny, I saw this clip probably about two or three years ago, it was like the Steve Harvey show, and they bring these girls on, they can't find a man, so Steve's like, I'll set you up. And everything else. So, be, so before the show, they both like lined out, he goes, okay, before the taping, they lined out things that they wanted. One girl wanted like 48 different items, the other girl wanted like 56 different items, and like some of them were contradictory, where I want the funny guy, and I want, but I also want him to be really nice, and he wants to be edgy, but he, he has to be caring, and, and Steve's like, this is crazy. And they both said, I want a millionaire. And Steve asked one of the most important questions that I've ever heard. He goes, does a millionaire want you? That's true. Huh? Does a millionaire want you? And it literally, it's like, we want this, but does that person want you? What do you have to offer the millionaire? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a million. You don't yeah. have to be rich yourself, but if you're going to be a team, are you willing to partner with him? You know, what are you offering? There has to be an energy exchange. Yeah. If he gives you the financial security you're looking for, what are you giving him? Yeah. Are you giving him support? Are you giving him love? Are you giving him, you know, are, are you going to take care of the family? Are you the one who's going to be in charge of you know, the, the, this, this whole bunch of stuff? That's there's such a, a lot. Question. Yeah, there's a, you know, we were talking before we started filming about how many guys are off their purpose, as David Data yeah. says. You know, I see it more now because I grew up more in the internet age and more in the, I can just, Find someone on this. That's I can crazy, find. A, yeah. yeah, this is their this is their mode of relationship oh, instead of crazy. this. And <laughs> more men need. Yeah, like I'm, I'm relationship I'm like advice. Forty, right? Yeah. Ten years older, and I I don't understand that. Like I mean, like sometimes it people text me. It's like yeah. man, I like just call me. I want to talk to you. Like when yeah. I, I I I'm more of a personal contact person. Yeah. I, I want to meet you. I want to yeah. talk to you. I want to feel your energy. Yeah. I want to see how we communicate. And like a lot of it is just and, and shit's easy today. Yeah. I, I heard about I heard about Tinder. Tinder. I yeah. just heard about it like two weeks ago. It was like, ah, bro, Tinder. Well, what? Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking I can Tinder. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, like, you, 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 you could call her and she's gonna come to your house and bang. I said, what, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. They're just looking for sex. I'm like, it is it that fucking easy? And when I look at that, yeah. Have people lost their fucking ability to just kind of like, if you give everything away? And I, it must smell, sound a little bit stupid. Women will be like, oh my god, he's so sweet, or whatever. Oh. But, but <laughs> there's no women watching. But, but like, no, no, but, but I mean, it's so, it's so like, like, 
as a male for me, if I just start sleeping with anybody, I, for me, I kind of feel like I'm gonna lose that intimacy I have with, mm. within myself. I don't know if within myself. If I was to sleep with any girl, like, and just make lists and bang them, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose you that. Lose yourself. Kind lose of. myself and lose the specialness when I do meet somebody. I'm like, wow, I really like this girl. It's like if, if I'm eating, this, you know, if I go to Milos every night like we went yesterday, after a while, you don't, yeah. you might not enjoy it as much, but yeah. the fact that you'll go once in a while. Well, familiarity, yeah, you, you just keep I mean? on seeing it and it's and, and not it's a big hard. deal. Like when the physical gets involved, it becomes a lot harder to establish that real connection. Yeah. Because you know, we are fundamentally animals anyway. Yeah. Once oh, that whole, that, that hormones, core. that emotion yeah, comes yeah, in. Yeah. Look, I met my wife in September. It might sound cheesy, but you know, we had our first kiss at Christmas. That's crazy. Whole, <laughs> That's a long time. I still can't get up when he tells what me the whole, the whole October, time. November, December. Wow. We spoke. We exchanged. You know, we it read stuff. It was like, like, the physical part, I look at her. She's hot. That's taken care of. I'm not worried about the rest. Let me get to know who the person is. Yeah. yeah. Before, you know, the hormones and all that starts interfering. Ah, then you go crazy for two, three years. Three years later, you wake up, who the hell is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this bitch? That's true. The question is, where the hell have you been for three years? Yeah. Where were you? You know, you were talking uh, about, about like, being married. Yeah. And I always said, I said, there's only guys he's, outside. He's, even if it's girls, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Girls, no girls, girls, are, girls are getting to see what men yeah. really want. And yeah. like good men, because, uh, look, there's good guys and there's freaking jerks out there. There's yeah. no doubt. And, and when you look at every guy has different scale of values. Yeah. Not every man has. What percentage are there like real men out there though? That like again, how are do not we just define a real man. man. Yeah. To my definition, yeah. when I think of real men, I think of men who are honest, who are true, who are real, who are not fake. Honesty is massive. Yeah, who like yeah. who are not like they you know, you meet them, they're not trying to like impress yeah. your beast and just man, just tell the one word yeah. see who you are. Yeah. Man. Don't yeah. don't take out your shield, take out your arms. Take off your mask and yeah, persona. Yeah, yeah. Vulnerability. Yeah. That is, yeah. That is magic words. Yeah. Vulnerability. That yeah. magic word. And a lot of people are so scared yeah. because of being judged or criticized or, or putting down or like if through my life I can only speak I don't really give a shit. Like mm -hmm. I don't care. I'll fucking watch a movie yeah. if I'm gonna climb. Is that recent or you've yes. always had that? It is pretty recent. It, it, it's through yeah. the years it got more and more. Yeah. More, less and less and less. Yeah. And yeah, look at twenty five, ask this guy, the fucking girls I dated, man, like, you know, my ex ex girlfriend Cindy, five eleven, half packy, half uh Italian, like fucking I would go down the shit, but I like that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ass. I wanted everybody to see what I was yeah. doing. Today yeah. I'm like, I don't really give a fuck. Like yeah. what yeah. you know what impresses me in a woman? What I look for? Generosity, kindness, the ability to forgive, to love, to not judge, to not to me, yeah, that is beauty. Yeah. That the ability for you to walk by and see a homeless person and help him, the ability to, you know, to donate to a charity, to participate and help others, that is the most important trait. The ability to look at you, you're not finding that having on a conversation and having yeah. fun. Yeah. And she looks at you and she smiles because she admires somebody who's able to admire and love you for who you are. Who you are, yeah. With it's, all your flaws and qualities. It's funny too because you're talking about how much we try and impress people and the th the th one line that I've heard which is think of the amount of time that we go on our day-to-day -day basis on trying to look good and at the very least just don't look bad yeah yeah see our clothing yeah. what we post on social media who we are we st we we want to disagree with someone but like yeah 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 no 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 yeah you're right they they just want to look good it's and and or they at the very least don't want to look bad they don't want to ruffle feathers and they want to be right there's they a want to be right yeah like the looking good being right like so much effort and energy because it's like spent for that. We, we live in a completely yeah. different world in the sense Because of, of social media. Yeah. We live in a different yeah. world. And look at it like this. Like, I, I think it's up. great yeah. social media. It, it has... For business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But there's a lot of people that they want to build the following, thinking the following or like, because there's beautiful women on Instagram that will post, you know, selfies and whatever, thinking that one million followers, two million followers, three million followers, like chasing what we were saying before, yeah. chasing the money, chasing the followers, the fame out in LA, my, where my sister lives. She's like, they are miserable. Not all of them, but they're miserable because they're thinking the fame will bring them happiness. Yeah. Being recognized will bring them happiness. You know, getting 80,000 likes will bring them happiness. because they're obsessed by that. It's crazy. Like, I, I know, like, look, I love social media, <laughs> meaning the sense for my business, I do it. I do it because, you know, I do post stuff. Obviously, when you have a business, you need to. Yeah. But, like, people who know me, because it's cool. personally know me, yeah. like, when I post yeah. stuff, it's fun, it's stupid, it's, I don't take it serious. I yeah. see people who, like, I know their lives. <laughs> I know you're fucking miserable. I know you're on all kinds of medication. Yeah. I know yeah. that you yeah. sit at home 
and you cry and you want to <laughs> blow your brains out. But when I see your picture, yeah, smiling, you're like smiling, yeah, 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 yeah. happy, and it's yeah. like it's it's yeah. it's a it's a it's a different, Total it's a fake, fake. it's Total a whole fake. different like yeah. realm of reality. But it <laughs> gives them some kind of soothing. Yeah, it gives them some, and you know what? I, Temporary. When I look at it, I'm like, yeah. like you know, poor you. It's like, like medication. Yeah, it's like medication. It's like yeah. poor you, but hey, if this is what makes you happy, this is what you've defined, yeah. then do it. I know it's bullshit. Other people know it's bullshit because at one point it just becomes too much. Yeah, when you put. You know, uh, 60 selfies of yourself going <laughs> yeah. to the bathroom, you know, like at one point <laughs> yeah. you're like... Uh, and they've taken 200 selfies and they've narrowed it down <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to the right filter. It's external validation is shallow. It doesn't work. Amen. I, I finally found that out this year is that people yeah. seek it from the outside. They seek that if I go away, and, and this is what bothers me, I'm going to go to a beach and that's going to make me happy. And that's my vacation. That's going to make me, I understand yeah. like going and like unwinding and reloading, yes. but they, they put, it's the quote is, um, uh, wherever you go, there you are. In other words, the person is still miserable yep. and they're like, well, it rained for two days. You're in fucking Hawaii. <laughs> you yeah. know? See, I, I, I'm that gonna, must have been beautiful. I'm raining gonna, in Hawaii. I'm going to tell you, Charles, I'm guilty of that. I am because like, and I'm open about it. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, fuck. And I know like my dream is to go to Greece, and I want to go live in a little yeah. fucking island, a house like with a little terrace, like just simple. And it scares me. I might get there. As we're sitting on the terrace, not, having a little coffee, <laughs> overlooking, yeah, in New York, it's yeah. all good. I might be like, fuck, is yeah. this really what I want? Am I, you know? And, and sometimes I wonder, maybe it's like, you know, there's a void of lack of love from my parents that that doesn't never go away. Yeah. Right? Sometimes yeah. I think it's that. I don't yeah. know. That's why I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go to Greece, I told George. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go live there for three months and really see how at peace will I be with myself or is it really just, am I fed up of running that fucking race? I see everybody. I was telling George, walking New York. Yeah. I'm like, this is oh, all especially the, here. All the yeah, noise. This midtown. All the yeah, cement. Yeah. Yeah. All the people. Yeah. It's like, yeah. my brain is like, fuck, like, Where's the the, 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 the the breathing, the the, the green, the, the the sun, the light, the yeah. everything is hard and everybody, yeah. everybody's like nobody is even looking at each other. Nobody yeah. says good morning or hi or yeah. how are you or you know and I'm just you know, I remember when I was in Santorini in Greece and my one of my aunts, like I mean, she there are the most they never finished elementary. She could barely read or write. She's been a housemaid all her life. Very, very poor. But the most generous. Mm -hmm. When you're in her presence, and I talk about my aunt with the, you feel you feel this angelic feeling where she just she grabs you and she talks to you, and you feel the warmth and the heart of the person. Happening. Nothing yeah. else. Yeah. And she'd be like, Nick, she'd wake me up at six. Come see the sunrise. I'm like, fuck, I'm tired. Nick, sleep now, sikopano, come. Yeah. I'd wake up, I'd be pissed off, fuck. I sit on the chair and I look at it, oh. and she has my Greek coffee there, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm sitting with her and I'm looking at the sunrise in the mountains. She's like, enjoy, Nick. And I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. And I look at her, thank you for waking me up. Yeah. She goes, you want me to make you a little breakfast? Oh, my gosh. And, I might go with you. And, 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 and you know what? She, we woke up in the morning, and she goes, oh, the neighbor brought us eggs and bread. Yeah. I'm going to bring her honey for me. And yeah. every, there was this sense of community. community that yeah. everybody's, you know, yeah. everybody's thinking out for each other. And I remember sitting at night with all the old women, like aunts and stuff. Mm. And they're talking, and they're really talking about, like, the simplest thing, they're looking at a plane, she's like, wow, I wonder where that plane is going. Yeah. Like, she's like, where are you from? I said, oh, I'm from Canada, Montreal. Is that in Cuba? Mm. I'm like, no. <laughs> where is it? I'm like, it's far from here. I'm like, it doesn't, doesn't like, matter. it doesn't even matter to be like, oh my God, they're so dumb, they're so stupid, they don't know. Trust me, they know the love and life and the yeah. heart and living in the moment better than any yeah. fucking yeah. in here. They weren't worried about looking good. No, yeah. no. It was so wow. like, you know what I mean? I'm sitting down wow. with my aunt. She has like a big mustache. Yeah. She's fucking, yeah. you know, she doesn't yeah. care. And they're just, we're drinking wine yeah. till fucking two in the morning. Everybody's buzzing. Everybody's happy. And the music Complete is Complete acceptance. Yeah. Complete yeah. acceptance. No judgment. No filtering. I didn't walk out of there saying she's like this, she's like that, she's dumb, they're uneducated. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. But you know why it was we the do that, feeling. Eh? Yeah. Sorry, no, I went a little bit on a rant. No, that was but, good. But it still stuck with me till yeah. today. But you know why we care? Because that's good, important for us because that's part of our values. Other people will go there after two days and go nuts. The whole looking good thing. We, people don't approve or disapprove of us. Mm. It's not about us. Yeah. If you match someone else's values, somebody tells you, Nick, you're awesome. I love you. They're actually saying, my values are like your values. Yeah, that's all it is. It's true. You're an asshole. I don't like you. They're saying, my values are different from yours. Yeah, it's so that's true. it. That's all it that's is. That's all it is. It's so true. We go to Greece. We sit with them. 
we're in paradise because it's a perfect match to our values. Other people go there, oh my God, what is this? Because it's just not their value. See, yeah. even 